Composer to... Huh? Oh, Rector, of course. We have Rector PHP as well, making our code pretty. So I'm gonna type vendor bean Rector with dash dash dry run. Very important flag. Sometimes you have this big chunk of code, but you don't wanna like Rector modify the entire code without your permission. So what you can do is type vendor bean Rector dash dash right dry run. By the way, are you guys familiar with Rector PHP? Wait, what? Okay, we have two no's already, two yeses. Three yeses, okay. Four, oh wait, what? Okay, I'm gonna explain what is Rector, man. You got, you got, <laughs> I have to, I have to. Okay, I'm gonna explain what is Rector. Rector PHP is this absolutely awesome tool that just uses or modifies your code to the latest PHP version while doing the same behavior. Okay, so to get started with Rector PHP, the only thing you have to do is type Composer require Rector slash Rector dash dash dev, okay? Once you do this, you have Rector PHP installed in your project, and then you you create this Rector.php file. Now, the Rector.php file is literally a place where you configure how Rector will work with your project. And here, for example, I have two paths which I want Rector to literally refactor. The first one is source, the second one is tests. And then I just take to Rector, all right, I want you to perform the following modifications on my code. I want you to remove that code. I want you to improve the code quality. I want to add types everywhere. I want you to make everything private by default. I want you to try to, try to do early returns. Oh my God, this is so cool, man. I use literally all the time. So let me show you something. So if I come here, for example, ba -ba 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 -ba, yeah, I'm gonna do something like this. Foo equals to uh, a function that returns true. So if I do this, I think Rector will literally refactor these little three lines to one single line. So let's type vendor bin Rector so I can show you this. Please work. Come on, man. There we go. Oh, actually even remove the line because the code is not being used. Like how awesome that is. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think it's really cool. So basically, Rector also showed me what he have done. And as you can see, for example, he went to this little code we have, which is new, and added this type int to the closure, this string type int, which is an improvement on code quality. The second thing he did is having this type int return type to the given function, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, do you know this variable we just added, this foo equals to function? E Rector PHP automatically says Said, okay, this function or this foo bar is not easy, it's not being used, so I'm gonna just remove this code because you don't need it at all. How powerful this is! Come on, guys. For those of you who have said that I don't know Rector, how cool do you feel that Rector is? It's really cool, right? Infinite power. Oh, yeah, baby, Dripping Castle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so again, this is one of my favorite tools, Rector PHP. Alongside PHP stand, alongside past PHP, alongside Pint in PHP CS Fixer, alongside type coverage, Vractor PHP is one of my favorite tools on the PHP ecosystem. So if you haven't tried yet, try it today. Like literally right now, we are working on a new project and detected four changes. Now imagine if you run Vractor PHP on a legacy application. <laughs> <laughs> Even that is like a, this small emoji right here appearing, like how cool that is. <laughs>